Okay? You mark, you look straight over the top and you're, and you're lined up, all right? Now here, straight over the top, okay? Depending on the angle will depend on how it moves, all right? But if you're straight over the top, you can eyeball it. Get it straight on, all right? Again, you just sight down to here. All right, now if you move the angle, then it changes, see? It changes. See how it moves? It looks like it's way over here now, all right? But if you're straight over the top of it and sight down, you'll have it, okay? Now I have this tucked in right underneath the wall a little bit, so I'm going to mark this wall. You can probably see that pencil line I already have. So I'm marking this here. All right, I'll show you what that's about in just a minute. Now remember, for a half circle we need three points, all right? That's one point, that's two points, then we need three points. So we're going to get our third point here in just a second. All right, now here we are against the wall, all right? Now I'm looking straight down at the edge of that toilet fan, fan, at the toilet flange. And it looks like we're right at 13 and a half, all right? We've got this in our way. So if we look straight down, looks like it's meh at 13 and 3 eighths. So we'll come out about 13 and 3 eighths and we'll mark it, all right? Remember the pencil line that we made over here, okay? So this is our third mark. So we go right to that pencil line we made here, all right, and we come over here 13 and 3 eighths, and we will mark it. All right, now I'm going to bring this to the center, all right, so if I take, go between these lines and measure center, that's 7. 3 and 3 is 6, so 3 and a half is 7, all right. So there we are, right there at seven. Okay, now I pull from my pencil line and I go to 13, all right? I pull right here along this edge, okay? And that was 13 and 3 eighths. Here's my 13 and 3 eighths right here. All right, so this becomes my third point. All right, now I can take right here and I can take this and I can just kind of come and kind of scratch out, rough in the radius. All right, freehand it. Sometimes is the best way to go. All right. All right, so here we go, roughing in the radius right here. But now I've got something I can use, okay? So let's let's check this out. Okay, now let's see how I did. Now I haven't touched it yet. Let's pull this away and see. You see my pencil line, all right? here isn't too shabby freehanded but I can use this for my template all right and so that's what I'm going to do here, let's take this bring this up here to this edge let's get it lined up with our marks right there and here we go see here we are And I have my template. But that's how you can do it if you had no template, you didn't have a bucket. Alright. Because I have a bucket, I have. Okay. I can take this can, I can set it here, kind of get it lined up. I can mark it. That's too small. And you find something bigger that you can use to do that with. Okay, and I've taken this bucket, as you can see that bucket 
works about perfect for that template. Okay, so I catch this side, go halfway, stop. All right, it's not quite right there. So then I bring it over. Okay, get it lined up a little better here. And I go halfway around. Okay, and get the other side. And come halfway around, all right. I'm going to show you two ways to cut this. One is on a wet saw. All right, and I'll show you the process for that. Then we're going to finish it out with the grinder and the diamond blade. Okay, now I'm stopping at the first line, all right? So I want to go to this line, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to go stop it there. I'm going to cut it out there first, okay? Now I need to spray this, seal this pencil line with uh, some polyurethane so it doesn't wash off the pencil marks that I've laid on there. That I all right, so one moment. All right, and I'm just taking a, a rag. It's actually a t-shirt. I'm just kind of drying this, all right, so I don't wipe it off. Because that pencil line will wipe right off with water. I'm going to spray it with polyurethane. Now I'm darkening the line back up from where it was being rinsed away, all right. One back over it to darken it up. All right. There we go. Continuing to go around. And then just a light coat is all it takes just to seal it. All right. That's all it needs. Now it's sealed. Okay. Let it wait a minute or so. And, uh, That'll be locked in there, and we're good to go. Now I'm just going to do one half on the saw, then I'm going to finish it up with the hand grinder and the diamond blade. this and knock this over. All 
All right. You saw how easy that broke out. All right. Now I'm going to tilt this up at an angle and I'm going to clean off these jagged edges. Okay, you can see just how clean that is. And you just keep doing the same thing. All right. Alright, now we're going to do the rest on the grinder. Alright, so let's get the grinder going, the diamond blade. Now I will be putting this tile on this pad, okay? This is a mat, so it has a cushion while I'm cutting, because this is ceramic and not porcelain. Ceramic's a lot softer. So... I will cut porcelain on this mat or a mat of some sort, carpet as well, to cushion the cut and resistance. Notice the beading, all right? A little bit of polyurethane seals it really well. All right, I've got these tiles there as a support to go right underneath, right to the outer edge of that, okay, for support. Okay, now let's get the grinder going. Get your cord out of your way. Okay? And on the blade, you got to be careful your hand doesn't get here because it will cut you. It's not like a wood blade, but this will cut. And I'll be going into this at an angle. Get your cord out of your way. back here away from that blade okay, and if I hold it here all right my fingers are over here on the other side 
And that's if I'm holding it here. That's how I'm holding it. All right. Okay, there she is. She's beautiful. Let's go check it. All right, make sure you wipe this down. All right, clean it off. Don't let water drip in people's houses if you're working for somebody. Take a squeegee. It's the best way to squeegee this off. All right, and get make this clean and dry. Take the time. Don't don't drip water all over people's yard houses. Okay, you see this pencil line, all right? That tells me that it runs right along the face of my cabinet, all right? So that tells me where I need to be. Now, for training purposes, and that goes all the way to the wall, all right? Now, the other thing that we have to look at, okay, see? All the way to the wall. So we have to get this in line with our pencil line. All right, so it's right there at where that joint's going to be. Now we have the other one laid in place. All right, so now I have to cut the piece we just cut. All right, I have to cut this piece right here at this joint line here. All right, so let's do that. I've just checked it with the framing square. All right, now I'm gonna make a line right here. All right, we'll cut that all the way through. Get rid of this on the bottom. I've marked this here. All right, so I know exactly where I have to cut off for that to all match up. And we should be pretty good. All right, while I'm here, I can kind of eyeball this here and just Go ahead and freehand this in. All right. Right there. All right, we're good, we're golden. All right, let's bring this out to that pencil line right there. All right, six and five eighths. Half inch and an eighth over, five eighths, all right. Six and a half, and we gotta move it over one eighth. Okay, six and one eighth. All right, right here. And we're against the blade. So now we know it's exactly where we wanna be. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, and then I will clean up the radius, okay? the radius all right you already know how I'm going to clean it up I don't want to make this video too long all right okay so now we're going to clean this up a little bit
make sure you get all the water off of your tile all right like i say don't go dripping it in your wife will holler at you if you're working at someone else's house they're gonna fire you so make sure you make sure your tile's not dripping all right the moment of truth okay we need to do a little bit of touching up down there it's hard to see but i do and uh it'll be just fine all right that's how you do that okay there's the pencil line all right that's right in the line with it it's off a tad but we'll make those adjustments and we'll be fine all right, I gotta come around. I gotta take out this straight section. So I'm gonna take this coffee can, all right? I'm gonna bring it right here where it starts to go straight. I'm gonna bring it right out here to the corner. And it's gonna trace around it, all right? That's all I'm doing. All right? And that'll do it. Okay. And that's what we're going to take out, this little section right in there, okay? And if the name of this can got in there, I'm not sponsored. Uh, hopefully that doesn't hurt me for the uh, being monetized. All right. All right, let's take a look at this. So coming in, here's our line okay that we've drawn all the way across the face of the cabinet okay all right there's our pencil line all right so this is now in alignment okay now that's going to go over all right so, so don't get tripped up on that piece of tile there okay this is right in the line with where we want it all right now look at that okay so we get a piece here because it's staggered okay so I'm going to have to create a slight gap make it a little bigger coming around we need a little we need a grout a gap for a grout okay so that's fine and then i'll just do the same thing with this piece here that goes in the corner all right that next piece i'll do the same thing you saw me do with this one i'll just repeat the same process over here now there's several ways to do this all right there's more than one way to skin a cat everybody has their own way but <clears throat> this should help you figure it out you know just replay 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 Watch the portions that you really need, but you gotta you gotta determine where you're gonna come out, how far you're gonna come out from your cabinet first by taking your measurement from your opening here of your door. All right, and you can see I've got some pencil lines down there. All right, all the way to your cabinet, and you figure it out using the spacing here. And I'm this is a First time for me to do this here on the floor, so I've got that where it's at at the moment, and uh, then it'll be every other one, and we're staggering, doing a stagger pattern. So I look forward to hear from you. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, <clears throat> don't be a stranger. And remember, easy two tips and tricks when you need to see it up close and personal. Bye for now. Bye.